This is the complete Facebook live stream tutorial for beginners. We're gonna cover everything you need to know to go live on Facebook like a pro with a full walkthrough using both free and paid apps and software, whether you're on Mac, Windows, iPhone, or Android. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. If you're seeing value in this video, make sure you're giving it a thumbs up. It really makes a huge difference. And all the links to everything I mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. Let's jump into it. Now, there is a lot to cover, but it is really easy to get started with the most basic setup. So that's where we're gonna start, just using the Facebook interface in a desktop browser or the Facebook mobile app. And then we'll work our way up to some recommended software and apps on both desktop and mobile that will unlock a ton more awesome features, like having the ability to bring in guests and overlay footage, titles, effects, and other cool stuff to help you take your live stream to the next level. And we've got timestamps to everything in the description below. So if you wanna skip ahead to some something specific, then you can easily do that. But I would definitely recommend that you watch this video as a whole so you can see what options are available so that you don't miss anything that you might not already know about. So first up, we're gonna look at the options that Facebook give you, the Facebook desktop interface for going live and the Facebook app. So we'll call this the entry level. This is where we can easily go live on Mac or PC from the Facebook webpage or from our Android or iPhone device using the Facebook app. So both of these options are free, they're really easy, and there's no additional software or hardware required. So you wanna head over to facebook.com or open up the Facebook app on your device, and then you wanna to go to where you can start creating a post as if you were just gonna post regularly on Facebook. But underneath that, there's a little red button that will let you go live. Now from here on the desktop side, you'll wanna specify if you wanna go live right now using your webcam or doing a computer screen share. If you wanna bring in guests in your live stream, you can actually do that now just using the Facebook website. If we click on this here, go live with others, we can set up what's called a Facebook room. So we essentially think of this like a Zoom call where you can bring in guests and you can broadcast this out as a Facebook live stream. You can also schedule a live video or a live event ahead of time. So you don't need to go live right now. If you wanna schedule one up, this is the area that you will come to do it. So it's gonna come back over here to go live now, and then you wanna choose use camera. This is going to ask you permission if you wanna share your webcam and your microphone with the website here. And you can see that I have my webcam showing down the bottom there. You can specify your camera and your microphone here, or if you wanna share your computer screen while you're live, then you can come over here to start screen share. It's gonna ask you which screen you wanna share. Now, right now, when you are live streaming this way, there is no way to switch between a screen share and your webcam. It is currently one or the other. So once you've set that up, you come back over here on the left again. We're gonna choose where we're gonna go live to, where we're gonna post on our timeline, a page, or into a group. We'll just leave it on timeline. We can then choose who is going to see this and go live publicly. We can go to a specific group of friends. We can choose to exclude certain people that won't see our live stream. Or I am a big fan of this one down here, Only Me, it is great for testing, for practicing going live because the only person that's going to show up for is you. We can give our live stream a title here. We can write something to go along with the post that gets posted with our live stream. This is a really good idea to let people know what your live stream is going to be about so they're more likely to click it if it's of interest to them. And then you're all set to go live. So you just wanna hit the go live button down the bottom here. It's telling me that I can reach more people by adding a title. So I definitely suggest adding a title. And we're gonna select go live here. We get a countdown, three, two, one. We are actually live. So if I press this now to make this area bigger, you can see that I have this camera fed through into the computer and we are live. Now any comments or engagements or anything from people watching your live stream will show up over on the side here. Now down below the screen here, you can see that we get some data or some analytics about our live stream. Now if we hit the little arrow down below the live stream here, this is going to take us to an analytics page with some insights and information around our current live stream. Now we are still live, which you can see down in the bottom right hand corner, but you don't need to be looking at yourself full screen the whole time comments are still gonna appear off over to the side. In here, you can also create a poll or ask questions. And then down the bottom here, you're notified of any alerts or any issues with your live stream while you're live. And at any time, if you wanna go back to the full screen version, just come down to the little preview here, press the two arrows to maximize that up and you're back full screen. Now to close and finish out this live stream, you wanna come down to the bottom left-hand corner, end live video and select end and your live stream will stop. So really straightforward from the desktop side without a ton of extra features and things built in. 
And the process here on mobile is very similar. We wanna hit that live button under the new post area and you can see, hey, I'm on screen. Now in here, one thing you will need to be aware of first up is that you'll need to set the orientation of your live stream before you press go live. So what I'm talking about is if you want to go live in portrait, make sure your phone is in portrait. Likewise, if you wanna rotate your phone and go live horizontally, you need to set that and go live this way, not rotating it afterwards. Once you're live, you can't rotate your phone. So we'll go back here now. Now in terms of functionality in here, right at the very top, we've got the X to cancel out. Next to that, we've got the camera flip button. So if we wanna to flip to the back camera, you can see the back of the studio there. We can also turn on or off the camera flash. Underneath that is who we are going to go live to. So you can see here, just the same as we had on the desktop, we can choose only me, we can choose public friends, friends we wanna exclude, or specific people. And if we scroll down further, there's groups and things that we can go live to and select there as well. And down the bottom it says tap to add a description. We can type in some text here, again, to let people know what our live stream is about. We can press done up the top once we've typed that in. It's also suggesting other things like adding a location, tagging friends, we can add a feeling or an activity in here as well. Now before we press the start live button down the bottom left hand corner you've got your filters and effects and things. If that's something that you're into you can use them while you're live as well. And the other one in here that's worth noting is if you wanna create a live stream where you are gonna be raising money uh, that is in here too. The rest of them are just filters and things. Yeah. So then when you are ready to go live you just wanna press start live video. There's no countdown or anything with this one. It just says starting live video and then up the top, it'll tell you that you actually are live. So any comments or anything are going to appear down the bottom. You can swipe over to the side, it says swipe left to reveal comments and reactions. So if you're not seeing them, you can swipe across at the bottom to show them or hide them. If you wanna to respond to one and you wanna type back a comment, you can press the little chat button down the bottom right hand corner and that's going to let you type in more text that we can post. If you wanna bring in a guest, there is that little guest feature button down the bottom there as well. If we press on that, again, it's gonna bring up a list of everyone that is currently on your live stream and you can just press a button there to invite them. So that's all the important stuff. Once you're done, you just wanna hit finish. It's gonna go through and end live video. And then it's gonna ask you what you wanna do. So you can change the permissions as to who this live stream is going to be visible for. You also get to specify if you wanna post this video to your timeline. You can also upload an HD version of your video, so a higher quality one. This is great in case you've had any internet issues while you were live. You can download your video by hitting save. You can delete it by pressing delete or the blue button there to share it out. So again, both options there, really simple ways to go live on Facebook is not gonna give you the more professional stuff, being able to bring up and feature comments, bring in graphic overlays and videos and bring in a ton of guests and being able to control it all easily while you're live. That's what the next options will let you do. Now in terms of those more professional apps and software, there is different apps on both Mac and Windows as well as iPhone and Android. So we're gonna start off with the desktop apps. So you've got software like Ecamm Live, StreamYard, BeLive, Wirecast, XSplit, vMix, and a lot more. Now we have full videos on our YouTube channel breaking down the best live streaming software on Mac and PC. I'll link them in the cards and in the description. We're not gonna dive into that now, but my best all-rounder on Mac and PC right now goes to StreamYard. StreamYard makes it really easy for you to go live on Facebook and all the other major platforms as well. And it packs in a lot of those more advanced features, all of that extra polish, like playing videos, featuring comments, bringing in a ton of guests onto your live stream. It is all really, really simple with StreamYard. And you actually don't need to download and install any software. StreamYard runs in your web browser, meaning that it is cross-platform. It even works really, really well on mobile devices as well. So over here now on the StreamYard website, you want to create an account and then log in. Once you log in, you can straight away see all your scheduled or upcoming live streams and you can easily create a new one. So we're gonna make a new one here, create a broadcast. This is a new broadcast. We're going to select Facebook. We can choose my personal profile. We can choose the Primal Video page. I'm going to choose my personal profile. We can give it a title. Again, we can go live right now or we can check the little box here to schedule it for later. Now, one of the cool things about StreamYard is it's also got built-in multi-streaming, meaning that we can just select YouTube here as well and our stream will go live to both Facebook and YouTube at the same time. And it brings all the comments and everything in into one manageable chat feed for you to be able to see and interact with both. So I'm gonna disable the YouTube one here. We're just gonna to go to Facebook. So I just wanted me to type in again, let's go test. We will need to add in a description, test 
Then we're gonna to go to create broadcast, and this is gonna take us into the broadcast studio where we can set up our live stream before we go live. So in here, just the same as with Facebook, it'll ask you to grant permission to this website for your webcam and your microphone. But then you can see, hey, I'm on camera again. We can come over here to the settings here. We can customize this up. So you can see we can select the camera here. Under audio, we can select the microphone here as well. Let me just choose cam link. We can choose how we want to hear our audio back while we're live. And there's a ton of extra features in here as well, like echo cancellation, or if you want stereo audio, you can enable all of that in here. Uh, we can enter my name, Justin Brown. Let's go enter studio. You'll then want to come down the bottom here and add your webcam to the stream. So this is our stream area here. When we hit go live, whatever is in here is what our viewers will see. So here's me on webcam, we're gonna go add to stream. There I am on screen. Now over here on the right hand side, this is where all the comments and everything will show up when you're live. And then if we come over here to banners, think of banners like little preset titles that you can create before you go live. So it could be questions that you wanna bring up like Mac or PC or Android or iOS. So questions and things you can have pop up or text that you wanna have up on screen while you're live. You can have all of these set up before you go live or you can create them on the fly while you're live as well. Under the brand here is where we can specify what we want everything to look like. So we can put in our primal video blue color here. We can choose our default theme for the titles. I'll just bring a title up down the bottom here so we can see what they look like. So I'll bring up my name. And up here, if we change this theme, we can see that it changes the titles on screen as well. You also have the ability here to add a logo. So they've got the StreamYard one that you could bring on the top, ah, oh, it's that side, the top corner, or you can bring in your own custom logos and things in here as well. Likewise with overlays and graphics, you can select these and turn them on and off easily while you're live and obviously upload your own ones as well. Exactly the same with video files. You can upload a video file to play it while you're live. You're just clicking on it and your video is going to start to play. Now this video, for example, is a really simple, really easy to create video intro that we made in a matter of minutes using an amazing service called Placeit. So if you wanna know how you can create animations and graphics and things like this to use in your live streams, then you'll definitely wanna check out Placeit and I'll have a video linked at the end of this video showing you how to make them. So there's a ton of options in here to allow you to customize up your stream without it being overwhelming, without there being settings upon settings like there is in more professional software. Now to bring guests into your live stream, you just come down the bottom here to invite. It's going to generate a random link that you can copy and send out to whoever you want to have join you on your stream. They will then appear along the bottom here as a video source. And while you're live, you can just select them to bring them up into the stream. Once they're on the stream, you can use the little presets here underneath the main display to change up what the look of the live stream is. And when you've got comments and things coming through, you can just select on a comment to show it on screen as well. So this is a great way that you can add a next level of engagement with your audience, not just acknowledging their comments, but featuring them in your live stream as well. So once you're all set up, you just hit the go live button in the top right hand corner here to start and to stop your live stream. Now we do have a full walkthrough tutorial on StreamYard. And again, I'll link that in the cards and below in the description, but you can see how powerful it is and how easy it is for your Facebook lives and live streams on YouTube and other platforms as well. And now in terms of pricing, you've got three options. There is a free plan which does have StreamYard branding on your live streams, but you can remove that and unlock a ton of features by jumping on the basic $20 a month plan. And above that to unlock all of the functionality of StreamYard, you can jump on the $39 professional plan. And that's gonna give you access to things like longer recording times, full HD video, and even individual audio recording tracks as well. Now onto the mobile apps. Again, there is lots of options out there, all that let you create more professional broadcasts than what you can in just the Facebook app. You've got things like Switcher Studio, Prism Live, Broadcast Me, Wirecast Go, and so many more. You've also got the ability to use a lot of the desktop browser-based options like StreamYard on there as well. Now this is where up until recently, my best all-rounder app on iOS and Android to go live more professionally was to use Prism Live. But that's really changed now since StreamYard works so well on mobile devices as well. So everything that I just showed you on the desktop walkthrough using StreamYard, you've got access to the exact same stuff right on your smartphone as well. And you don't even need to install or download anything. The only thing that's changed a little bit is the interface to make it more mobile friendly. So you just need to open up your mobile web browser, head to streamyard.com. We can see in here, once I've logged in, I've got my two streams there as well. I've got the test stream that we just created before. I'll select on that and choose enter studio. 
we need to give access to our microphone and camera. So I will allow both of those and we can see there I am right now on screen. So we can go ahead and add my name in here, Justin. Let's go into studio. And we can see that that is the live broadcast there at the top of the screen. And so you can see once we're in here, we've got access to all the same stuff. So we've got comments displayed here. Instead of it being on the right hand side, it's now underneath. So I can just again tap on them to feature them on screen. Now you can see because I'm holding my phone in portrait that I've just got a skinny little video feed here, but it is a widescreen video. So if I just rotate my phone, you can see it's gonna scale that accordingly and just change the interface as well to look more like it does on the desktop. So we can come over here to banners and let's say Q&A banner and I can bring up a question on screen. Again, that we can type these out while we're actually live or we can have these set up ready to go before we're live. And we still have the full ability in here to invite guests in here as well. So there is our copy link that we can send out to anyone that we want to join our stream. So super powerful that you can use the exact same platform on both your desktop and your mobile device and even switch between them. So rounding this out, if you're someone who's just after a simple Facebook live stream, then you can definitely get away with the Facebook app or even the Facebook desktop interface. But for those of you who do want more, more options, more control, a more professional live stream, then that's where there is a lot of options out there, but our best all rounder right now that happens to work on desktop and mobile as well, really does hands down go to StreamYard. It is so easy to use, it packs in a ton of features, it looks professional, it makes it so easy for you to manage and control everything while you're live. You don't need to have teams of people or be spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars to have the most professional software to be able to create professional streams. So that's why I'm a big fan of StreamYard. Now, if you're someone who's looking for something more advanced, more professional live streaming software, the next level up from StreamYard, where you're really able to dial in everything and have full control over your live stream, then check out our full breakdown of the best live streaming software right now from beginner right through to advanced linked up in the cards. Now a great way to boost the quality of your live streams is to use things like animated graphics and titles and videos while you're live. Check out the video linked on screen where we show you how easy they are to create in an amazing service called Placeit. And I'll see you in the next video.